buffs, there's plenty to learn in both downtown Reno and downtown Sparks. In the early 1900s, Sparks became an instant city when the Southern Pacific Railroad moved to town. Named after Governor John Sparks, the heart of this city can be found right here at Victorian Square. Starting at Pyramid Way, we have a bridge that was built by the Central Pacific Railroad by the Chinese laborers, and we have a monument to the Chinese laborers, the only one in the United States. And then we have the U.S. Bicentennial Building, which is the uh, a replica of the first Sparks Railroad Station. And then we have the train, which is open. The caboose is open during special occasions. And then the next thing down we have from that is the Glendale School, which is the oldest schoolhouse in the state of Nevada. And the nearby Sparks Heritage Museum is a great place to find out all about the history of Sparks. The Ginsburg family has a unique piano. It's a 66 keyboard piano, and it's a box piano, and it came around the horn in the 1895s, and they donated it to the museum. We have some other uniques. We have a nice collection of railroad lanterns for signaling uh, before the age of electricity. One that's really unique that the kids uh, get a big kick out of is the Gandhi Dancer. It's a mechanical man made out of railroad spikes, and the mechanical man dances. And if you want to walk the paths of pioneer wagons that crossed the Truckee Meadows in the late 1840s, downtown Reno is a great place to take an historical walk. You can experience history as well as art, architecture, and culture along the famed Truckee River Corridor. Well, we're really at the heart of Reno right here. Uh, this is the intersection of Virginia Street and the Truckee River. And the first uh, settlement in this area uh, was right here at the intersection. So there's always been some kind of an inn or a hotel at this intersection since the 1860s. So you can kind of see how it was sort of destined to be a tourist town. The, the post office is really one of the, the most beautiful buildings in Reno. It was designed by Frederick de Longchamps, who was one of the most prominent architects in Nevada. Uh, it opened in 1934. Um, he also designed two of the other buildings that are on this intersection, the Riverside Hotel that opened in 1927, and also the beautiful Washoe County Courthouse, which was 1911. And at the Mapes Plaza, take a peek into downtown Reno's history. Um, the Reno Historical Resources Commission put together this uh, series of six columns. They each have a theme, a historical theme. They have a lot of historical postcards and photographs and little stories about the history of this intersection to give people a sense of what was here, what has been here over the years. For a little bit of history on Reno or Sparks, visit their historic downtown areas to discover their past as well as their budding futures. Stay tuned as we visit the most scenic golf courses in America's Adventure Place and Tiffany and I go in search of